First, though, the CBC's Zavine Bryan caught up with another Canadian star, supermodel Stacey McKenzie. Her career may seem glamorous, jet-setting from Paris to Milan, but it took a lot of personal strength, and she's using that experience to help others. You might recognize Stacey McKenzie from her confidence on the catwalk, but today she's on a different assignment that's got her a little less self-assured. The world-famous model is visiting the school she attended when she was 12. She wants to tell kids how she got through bullying at their age and throughout her career. Tell me a bit more about the, the types of things people used to say about your appearance. That I'm ugly, that I'm weird looking, um, that I'm strange looking. The insult started in Kingston, Jamaica, where she was born to a light-skinned father and dark-skinned mother. My mom also got bullied a lot. Uh, they used to make fun of her because she, uh, when she, when I was a baby, I was so, I was so like white, and I like blondish, like, like blondish gold hair. The teasing continued after she moved to Canada and looked for modeling gigs overseas. That's when the put downs really started to affect her. It broke me down, but I never showed it. It was hurtful still hurts me, but I always kept a smile on my face and my, my head held high and I just kept on going. Eventually Mackenzie learned to accept herself, building a career on the face that was first rejected. Now she's teaching others to believe in themselves too. Any of you guys ever been in that situation where you're getting bullied and you know, you do stand up for yourself, but at the same time, it's like it's tearing you down. Like, oh, Principal David DeBell says many kids at his school are from families that are new to the country. So having Stacey McKenzie return to a community where she lived as a newcomer is meaningful. We often hear about Martin Luther King and, and the big names, and those are uh, important stories. But there's a lot of important stories local to us, uh, like Stacey, for example and struggling to overcome prejudice, to overcome perceptions of people, and then not giving up and not quitting and then making it. After the speech, students crowd around desperate for an autograph. For these kids, it's about more than meeting a supermodel. What did you think of it? I think it was inspirational because she kept on going when people like stopped her. Even though like she was made fun of and stuff and people stopped her, called her ugly, she still kept going. She still kept persisting. Along with motivational talks, Mackenzie will be looking for girls of all cultural backgrounds to attend a special camp this summer. A chance to share their differences and build their self-esteem. Zavine Bryan, CBC News, Toronto.